So it's Sully, I'm back here. I want to give you a little help video on regression if you need it. We did this in our exponential unit with Mr. Kelly, so you should have a basic understanding of how to do this now. If you don't, then you probably are not really doing your best on these applications, which is not good because these are important questions, all right? So let's say we have this given data. Remember, anytime we do regression, we have to go to stat. We have to put these in. We're going to do edit right up here, stat edit. So I'm going to press enter. Now, I put mine in. My X list is L1. My Y list is L2. If you need to clear it, you have to go up, press clear, and then come down, and it will clear it. I don't want to do that because I have my data in here already. So now what we want to do is we need to calculate this. So a couple of things. Last time we did this, uh, you did... Um, EXP regression because it was a, an exponential regression. When you plotted the data points, it looked like an exponential uh, equation. This one, if we plotted these points, looks like something like this. So it, it rises slow. There's a curve maybe at the beginning that's hard to see, but it, it rises a little slow. So we're going to do, uh, and you can tell that, look at this, goes up almost four almost one. I mean, the, this gap is getting close. It's, it's not going up quite as fast as it was before. So we need to do a logarithmic um, regression. So let's go to the stat edit. Oh, excuse me, stat calc. So here we are in calc. Let's go down and find one that works. Um, Linreg, that's a straight line. Quadratic, cubic, quartic. Um, different version of a, a line natural log, exponential, power, logistics, sine. So none of these really fit. So because there's no log one, but there is a natural log. So we have to do the actually, we have to do the natural log regression. So you're not going to do log regression. You're going to do the natural log regression. Okay. So I press enter. I want to make sure my X list was L1. My Y was, list was L2. All right. Sometimes it's pretty powerful to store this. So I'm going to go to VARS. I want a Y variable. I want to store it in my Y variables. So I'm going to go over to Y variables. This is a function. And we'll put it in Y1. And then I'm going to, last but not least, I'm going to come down. Ooh. Come on. Go down. Press enter. Look at this, you get to see me do this all over again just because I mistyped one thing. Vars, y variables, it is an e a function, y1. And then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna hit calculate. So they give us this form and it's a plus b times the natural log of x. So you can see ours is going to be a is gonna be six point, let's do hundreds, two six plus b, which is 2.003, or 4 rather, times the natural log of x. So that's our equation right there. All right. Now the reason it was really powerful, when I put in y equals here, it put it in. So when I graph this, you can see there is our logarithmic function. All right. It's kind of nice to have in there. Right. Something else that's really nice, if I go to my y variables, and I hit Y1, and then I hit parentheses of 100, put 100 in there. What this does is it's going to calculate the value at 100. It's pretty cool. You know what I mean? It actually plugs in 100, takes the natural log, multiplies it, and adds 6.6. .6. That's pretty awesome. So, hope that helps you out on your regression help. Hopefully, you're getting the hang of this, and you don't need these videos anymore. All right? Good luck.